In this problem, we're being asked to find the volume of the solid that we get when we rotate this bounded region about the y-axis. Let's come over here and do a preliminary sketch. So this polynomial function has two zeros, uh, one and three. So here's one, two, three. We know that the multiplicity of one, if you recall from algebra, I guess, is one and the multiplicity of 3 is 2. So we have odd multiplicity, so it's going to cross the x-axis. And here we have even multiplicity, so it's going to touch and turn around. And if you use a calculator to help, or, or just use more college algebra, it's going to look something like that. So that was pretty rough and quick, but most people just use a calculator to help them graph these. And the line y equals 0 is this piece right here. Let's go ahead and draw this picture, but make it a little bit bigger over here. So there's x and there's y. And here's 1 and here's 3. And it looks like we care about this piece here. And we're spinning this apparently about the y-axis. So we're spinning it here. Let's go ahead and use the shell method. So whenever you use the shell method, your rectangles are always parallel to the axis of revolution. So in this case, the y-axis is the axis of revolution. So when we draw our rectangle, the only way to draw it is like this. Now we need to identify two things, h of x and p of x. So h of x is the height or the length of the long part of the rectangle. p of x is the distance from the skinny piece of the rectangle, it's called the average radius, all the way to the axis of revolution. So there's little p of x. So in this case, h of x is simply the function that we have here. So h of x will be parentheses x minus 1, parentheses x minus 3 squared. And p of x, well, this distance here is just x. So p of x is x. And now we're ready to write down the answer. So the volume is equal to 2 pi. And we're integrating with respect to x. So we're going from 1 to 3. So it's an integral sign, so 1 to 3. And the formula says that you're supposed to write p of x here and then h of x here, dx. So that's equal to 2 pi. And we're integrating from 1 to 3 and p of x was x, and h of x was this stuff over here, or this function. So simply x minus 1, and then x minus 3 squared dx. And via the power of calculators, this is equal to, I believe, 24 pi, whoops, whoops, 24 pi over 5. And I hope this video made sense.